I know that doing an audition is nerve-wracking enough, but as long as you're prepared and have the right monologue, then usually your audition will go off without a hitch, and it's really what sets you apart, is that preparedness. So this week what I'm going to be talking about is how to help you choose the right monologue. There are a couple things to consider, and that's what we're going to start with today. Number one, consider your time. A monologue usually shouldn't be any more than one to two minutes long depending on who you're auditioning for. It's usually the generally accepted amount of time and you should really respect the time limit of the, of the audition. Um, the reason for that is because if you go over the allotted time then your auditor may just stop you in between your monologue and then your audition will be memorable for all the wrong reasons. When picking a monologue, you should consider your role and make sure that you have one that's age appropriate and also kind of coincides with the role that you're auditioning for. So if you're audi auditioning for a more dramatic role, try a more serious monologue. Vice versa, if you're going for a more lighthearted role, then try doing a, com a comedy for a monologue. Where to find a good monologue? Um, usually a great start is one of those collection books that has the mon um, really sort of famous and widely known monologues, but it should really just be a starting point. Don't be afraid to look at the books you like or movies that you like for inspiration because they can have some really great things. Um, it's always best to have sort of fresh material if you can for a monologue. So, you know, Hamlet's to be or not to be has been done a hundred times and doing something like that can really work against you just because sometimes the standards can be set so high for something that's so familiar. Try to connect with your material. Um, it may take a little bit of a longer time to find the right monologue that you're looking for, but try to find one that you can sort of emotionally connect with, or at least it sort of gets an emotional reaction out of you. That way, when you actually perform the monologue, it'll seem more genuine and real, and your performance overall will be better for it. How many monologues should you remember? That's usually a good question, and the answer to that is a whole bunch. Um, be sure to have a good mix of comedic monologues, dramatic monologues, and some that have a mixture of both. That way you can be ready for just any kind of audition and sort of anything that they're asking for in particular. Also, you have to memorize your monologues. It's one of the most important things. So anytime you have a free time when you're not really doing anything, um, always practice your monologues and have them fresh in your mind so that well, your performance can be fresh as well. So that's it for me this week. Like the video, subscribe to the page, and I'll see you guys next week.